Hello friends, welcome back and this is your friend Faraz Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master and I hope you guys are doing great and I have an interesting topic today to talk about that is dynamic arrays. Now Excel is so much capable that it can hold the dynamic arrays and you don't need to remember to press Ctrl Shift Enter. And by the way, there are some new functions being introduced, seven functions which can hold the dynamic arrays and it will totally change the way we are working with our formulas so you, now you don't need to write any complex formulas to extract your unique value or to sort your data it can be easily done with that function so let me show it to you that how this works and how to use it so this is basically our data set we usually have our date transaction id stores product name and the quantity that has been sold now we would just like to extract the product name from this list. So we are going to say unique, okay? And it says that pass this array by column and the occurrence, okay? So we are just simply going to select this column, Control Shift down, enter, boom. Now Excel is able to extract those value, unique values from this column this is really cool you have seen i have done within seconds i have extracted the unique values so what about if you have another column as well so equals to unique tab and these are my stores and my product and i would just like to extract the unique values boom so these are my unique combination this has given me all the unique combinations from my stores and the products that has been sold. So let us sort this. Okay, sort. And we're going to say enter. So it has sought the value by the stores. Now you can even sort it by the column as well. So now when you press sort, comma, now the sort index, since we have two columns selected over here, I can just simply press 2 comma and we would like to have it in ascending comma and by default Excel sort the data by row what is the meaning of these true and false so by the way we can just make it as a fall or we can just ignore that enter and you have seen that the laptop is available in store 1 store 2 and store 3 so let us assume that you, you and me, we are extracting the list of the data, which has appeared only once in this list. So what we are going to do again, unique. Okay. And this is my table array comma. And I'm just going to ignore this for time being comma. And this time we have two options, true or false. So by default, it is taking the value of false. Okay. And true which means the unique distinct value so we are going to say true close bracket enter here we have so we have only wireless charger which is the distinct value here we have another data where we would like to extract the unique product names so we are going to use unique and this time my table array is in column okay comma now this time I need to tell Excel that the value has to be compared by column. Otherwise by default it will compare by row. So we'll just close the brackets, enter, here we have it. Now let me show it to you one more thing. Now if you would like to extract the distinct value, comma, which has occurred only one time, so I'm I want to make sure that my last argument which is there occurrence should be true enter so the mobile has occurred only one time so now in this data set we will be just removing this product name we'll be just comparing it by stores enter and I got an error why everything looks good the reason why because of the index because the index is one we have removed the index that's the reason we got the error so these are my unique stores and if i would wish to count formula i can use count a and 
Excel have introduced a new operator which is a pound operator and that operator will just take the entire range which is in array into the consideration so when I press enter boom isn't it amazing my friends so let us do one more thing we are going to use sum if equals to sum if and this is my range control shift down comma criteria is my stores okay and now we are just going to press then hash key which is also called as a pound entire set into an array and we will select the quantity what has been sold control shift down enter boom we have now the list of the quantities are being sold so let us go and add some new data to our data set over here so this is the data over here we're just going to cut it from here and nicely we are going to paste it under this table range just automatically taken into the tables and now you have seen how dynamic it is earlier there was no store 4 now we have a store 4 and we have equally got the count and as well the distinct count you can see over here earlier there were only wireless chargers now we have headphones as well trust me my friends once this function is available for all office 365 users this will be a game changer this will totally change the way we used to write the formulas and it will save a lot of time so i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video and i'll be coming up with some crazy stuff on these dynamic arrays and you're going to love it so stay connected hit the subscribe button share this video and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest update signing off for today your friend Farah Sheikh from Mifshake Excel Master